Well, well, well. I didn't expect to get a call from you so soon. Don't tell me you uh, blew through that last dash I sold you already, huh? We good? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, come on, man. What can I owe you? <laughs> what do you think I've been doing the past few weeks? All right, I know it's just you think I've just been floating you out of kindness? It's because you've been a good customer. At least I thought so. But uh, it seems like uh, I might have pegged you wrong. No, wait, 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 wait. Listen, kid. Pay your tab. Till then, you're cut off. Sam, what is it? Hey, Uncle Silas. Hey, a nice surprise. Yeah. Uh, how how is everything? You know, with, with Nina. She's in physical therapy as we speak. I'm gonna be back on her feet in no time. That's that's great, but uh. But that's not what you were asking, was it? Well, it's just I know things have been awkward between you two and Sam. Yeah, I know things seem odd. They, they are odd, but I don't want that stressing you. All right, I'm, I'm gonna make sure this all works out. Okay? Yeah. So, what brings you to my neck of the woods. Actually, uh, I have a favor to ask of you. You got it. What do you need? Could I possibly borrow some money? That's the favor? You got it. How much you need? $400. Well, I haven't exactly got that on me. Um, what do you say we back up for a second and you tell me why you need that much money? I'm not sure, but 400 bucks seems like a nice chunk of change for a kid your age. Yeah, I know. It's just, uh, th there's this camping trip. A camping trip? Yeah, yeah, a couple friends of mine from school are going, and uh, I thought it might be fun to go with. Sounds great. I guess you must have patched things up with Molly and TJ. Uh, no, no, they're they're not coming with. It's, it's other friends from school. Is that right? Yeah, you, you wouldn't know them. No, I probably wouldn't, would I? I haven't, I haven't been as present in your life lately as what I'd like to be. Sure you have. Oh, you know, it's just I've been, been busy here with my patients and, and then there's Sam and Nina and I guess I just, I dropped the ball when it came to you. I keep doing that, don't I? No, you, you've been great, Uncle Silas. Let me own this, okay? It's the only way I'm gonna do better by you. Okay. You know, the thing is, the way The way you were raised, you know, with your mom, the things that you went through, I guess I just took for granted that you were a good kid with a good head on your shoulders, and I never had to worry about you too much and getting into trouble. I promise. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna be more involved in your life if you, if you give me the chance. Yeah, of course. Okay. What do you say when I get off my shift tonight, we go out and we have some dinner and we talk a little bit more about that camping trip? Sounds great. I mean it. I know you've lost a lot. And I know you don't believe people are gonna be with you for the long haul, but I'm gonna figure out a way to make all this better. I may not have said it before, but I love you, kid. Don't let me fall through the cracks. Come here. Hey, hey! And let yourself into my office. My shift ends in about half an hour. If you don't mind waiting, we'll go to dinner after that. Sounds great. Okay.